Hi, it's Sandra. Thank you for joining me today. Quite often, people who have electronic cutting machines automatically go to a print and cut when you don't necessarily have to. And in this particular case, what I wanted to do was to write a sentiment, a humorous sentiment on a card, but I'm doing it with the pen setting. And I will link the file below so you can have the file so you can make this type of card if you so wish. Um, you can alter it if you want to do a printing cut, but I said I used a pen to do this. It's a fine liner, so I have a pen holder to fit in my silver bullet, and using this, it's really brilliant. And with the shortcut slot software, what happens is you can set the cutter lines to pen or cut or print and cut, whichever it is that you're doing. But if you set it to a pen in the cut settings, you then tell it to, um, to advise you whether it's a cut line or a pen line. And if you set them to different colours, you can get it to pause in between each one. So if you want to do it in different colours, you can do and so on and so forth. And it's quite easy to set up. One word of caution, though, if you're going to do that, make sure you put it on or what you see is what you get. Because if you do it from origin, your cuts and your uh, sentiment lines won't be lining up properly. So that's the pen that I used. Now this is what it would look like if you just put it on the front sheet, onto a plain sheet. But I've decided to cut it out and to put a border around it. But even this is a little bit plain. And as you can see, I've got some colour on the edges there. And it just makes it look a little more interesting. So to do that particular one, what I've got is an alcohol marker. And I'm going in with the darker one, first of all, and literally just scrubbing around the edge. Not taking much care about this, just going around in circles over the edge. Roughly the same size circles, but yeah, not being obsessive about it, like so. And if you want to fade out the edges some more, get yourself a marker which is very, 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 very pale. This one is dark blue light, apparently. And it's got virtually no colour in it at all when it dries. And you can go over the inner edge. And the alcohol in it will cause the previous colour to bleed into it and it will soften the edge. There we go. You can do it a bit more fussily if you wish, but I don't really see the point. Now this is a good sort of card to do if you want to use a fancy paper that you've bought or that you've made. Um, I've got one here which is stamped and glittered and so on and so forth. And I've got this one which is marbled and I've got this which is marbled. Now these, because they are photographic papers, you can't heat emboss these because it doesn't like it at all. So you really need to use something on there that doesn't involve heat embossing. So you could, for example, put the lady, and I've coloured her in. This is my little old lady. And the idea is that it's going to go like so. Now this particular background doesn't suit this particular colour scheme that well because there's not enough contrast in it. So I wouldn't use that one. If I try this one, again she kind of fades into it and no, it's not really right. So this just shows how it makes a big difference as to what you actually put on for your background. Now this one this is actually embroidery backing and I have put some various colours in it. It's probably, I can't remember when I did it, but it's probably food dye. I frequently colour with food dyes. They're cheap and plentiful. And I've also got some pearlised stuff on there as well. It's quite a pretty background. And it's sort of that you really don't want to cover it all up. You want to accent the background, don't you? And if I put her on here, I think that looks... A lot nicer and you get to see the background and the little lady 
pops out of there. I'll move this up here so you can see a bit better. I'm actually using a fairly thin card, which is why I don't like to glue it. It's too much of a risk that the glue will show through on the back and completely ruin things. So. down here rather than central I think it just makes it more interesting so for the lady I've got some thinner tape here I'll use the thinner one because it's easier to get into the little areas that I want to get to Just the two pieces is probably enough. There we are. Right, so to mat it up, I have my frame set. So I'll put that down on the long slip for mat and check which side is the opening side because I don't want to put this on upside down, it'd be pre drastic. In fact, just to aid that process, I could put it the right way up and slip my frame over there. And then all I will need to do is to pop that in and it will be lined up. Now, normally what I do is I put my tape or my glue on here, but because this one has to be in a certain place, I am going to put my tape on the back of my piece for mounting. So just hold that down, put that to the edge, and there we go, it's mounted where it needs to be. Just because I am absolutely dreadful at mounting cars. There we are. And I'll just eyeball that. Okay, so our humorous car today and obviously, if you want to add some sparkles and things, there is nothing to stop you from doing that. But a nice, quick and easy card to make. And it doesn't take too much effort to colour in either. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye bye.